Alright, C and Susie, I'd like you to meet your older brother. Wait, our, our older brother? I, I thought it was only like me, C, and you. Well, that's when you were wrong, Susie, because this is your older brother who is a pirate, Sack. Why, hello there, little children. My god, look how much you've grown. The last time I saw you two, you two zebras were just as small as my little parrot on my hat. Or... Our older brother is a pirate? Oh my god, this is so crazy and amazing! Can you believe that, C? Our older brother is a little pirate! Y yeah! Oh my god, I just can't wait to tell all my friends about this at school. They're gonna be so jealous. Oh well, yeah, they should be jealous, Susie. Because I, Sack the Pirate, is part of one of the most well-known pirate crews of all of Lucella. We've crossed all seven seas of Lucella. Heck, we almost found every single treasure and treasure and all the valuables throughout the seven seas of Lucella. Oh my god, that is so cool! You know what? I'm gonna go tell Georgie about this! Wait, Susie, you need to have a doll, and she's already gone. Well, at least she's still- God damn it! Is this something they do all the time? Yep, and it will most likely not be the last time they do it. But yeah, it's good to see you again, Zack. Like, yeah, when was the last time I even saw you? Well, yeah, the last time I was at home was when you were still, like, a teenager, I'm pretty sure. And when, like I said before, like, C and Zuzi were as small as my parrot on my hat. So yeah, it's been quite a while since I've last been at home. I mean, you know, once again, I'm like part of one of the most well-known pirate crews of all Lucella, so I'm just pretty busy most of the time and stuff, you know? And like I said before and stuff in my childhood, I've always wanted to be a pirate and stuff. Yeah, no, you said that multiple times and stuff, like, hell, you even binge-watched, like, the entire, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, like, movies and stuff. I'm honestly just happy, Sack, that you're just living out your dream, honestly. And it looks like you're still going pretty good and stuff. Yep, and even what C and Susie are doing right now, I just hope they're, like, you know, behaving back at home and stuff. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, they were totally behaving. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like they snuck inside a mansion once. Like, no, 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 that would never happen. Hmm. Right then. You know, we really haven't, like, caught up with, like, the stuff we've been doing recently and stuff, you know? So, how was life recently and stuff, you know? Well, it's going great, honestly, and stuff, you know? Our safe place in the middle of the uh, Lucella City is still functioning and running well and stuff. I even got a boyfriend and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got yourself a boyfriend? Oh, yeah, now that I think about it, I never told you that I actually got a boyfriend and stuff. Oh, wow, I'm actually so proud of you, Sissy. Yeah, thanks. His name is Pony, and he usually just eats carrots quite a lot and stuff, you know, and it's kind of shy and nervous, some, like, a few times and stuff. Why, well, you know what? Just in case, if this little pony boy you're talking about and stuff, it, it, like, is up to no good and stuff, you know, I want to see him. Because you know me, Sissy. I will always protect my siblings. I know, I know, Zack. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking to, like, Puggy, like, on, like, the second floor, I think? Yeah. But if you want to go see him, you can just follow me, I guess, and we can also try to find C and Susie, where the, wherever the hell they are. Aye, aye, sister! Okay, is this thing even working stuff, you know? Hold, hold on. Doggy, can you hurry up? I've been literally standing here for like three minutes. Alright, hold on, hold on. I just gotta fi figure out if this is even working in the first place. Eh, okay. I, I think it's working. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Alright, alright. Alright, Foxy, say bones! Doggy, it's cheese, not bone. Foxy, just say bones! Alright, fine, fine, fine. Uh, bones! Alright, I think it took the picture. Did it make the Xbox notification sound? Foxy, it doesn't matter, at least it took the picture. Uh, okay, there it is, alright. Alright, Foxy, what do you think of this photo? Doggy, I really look like Britney Spears in 2024. What? No, you don't, Foxy. I mean, look at you. You look beautiful. I mean, fine. I get. I guess you could say that. I mean, look at you. You just look like a, a cutie patootie. Okay, Doggy, I will actually punch you in the face if you say that again. All right, fine, fine. My bad. You know, I think Willow is doing some whale watching. Let, let, let's go join her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Willow. Yeah, I would, I would definitely love to join her. Foxy? I'm coming. I'm coming. Jesus. You know what, Pony? That's actually very nice of you to actually, you know, rent out an entire, you know, pirate ship to, like, you know, like, 
take a journey onto like the fireworks island. I'm pretty sure that's what it, what it's called. You know, for the Fourth of July. I never really saw you, you do something like this at all. No, you know me, I just wanted to do something special for like my friends and stuff, you know, for Independence Day. And I was like, you know what? Why not like rent out an entire pirate ship and get like the most well-known like pirate crew in all of the cellar to add to actually, you know, you know, like sent us to um, the fireworks island so that we can watch all the pretty and beautiful fireworks. Yeah, you know what, Pony? I actually respect you for that. You know what? This is one of the reasons why you're exactly my friend. Hey! Huh? You think you could just date my sister without me noticing? You're outrageous for thinking that! Uh, duh, uh duh, who are you? Why, I'm Sack, her older brother, who is one of the pirates of the w most well-known pirate crew of Lucella. And just so you know, I am very overprotective of her. People like you want to date my sister? You should treat her with, with respect. Otherwise, you would have to walk the plank! I, 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 okay, okay, I, I, I will! Nah, I'm just messing with you, pal. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, congratulations, pal. She doesn't really like most guys in Lucella and stuff, you know, because they always like to be tough and stuff, you know, like the cool boys. But you, 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 you probably have some, some special in you or something and stuff, you know, because she chose you specifically. And from how she described you and stuff, she must, she must talk about you a lot. Oh yeah, you know, like I had a crush on her for a while and stuff ever since you know school. And yeah, I finally confessed to her. You know, I bet I bet your brain was telling you, no, she won't like you and stuff. And your heart was like, yeah, she will like you. And then they were like, WWE wrestling. Am I right, buddy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So funny. <laughs> yeah. But I'm being dead serious. You better treat her with respect. Oh yeah, right. Uh, aye aye, Captain. Oh no 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 no. I'm not the captain here, buddy. Um, Captain Budgie's the captain here. Well, I may be going now. Captain Budgie probably needs my help. In a while, crocodile. Okay. Yeah, pirates sometimes scare me. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is Mimi still solving that? Oh, hold on. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is it? How are we even supposed to solve this shit? Not even Bill and I, the science guy, could even do this. Huh? What the hell are you doing? Uh, trying to solve the- trying to solve the- that- the message from the Mysterious of Lucella book, you know, that I've been trying to do and stuff for a little bit. Yeah, Mimi, I can see that, but we're- we're on a- like a pirate ship and stuff, you know? We're going to like the fireworks island for the 4th of July to see all the beautiful fireworks and stuff, you know? At least have a little bit of fun. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, Puggy, yeah, have a lot of fun and stuff, you know? Spectacular fun and stuff, while some multiversal maniac and stuff is trying to destroy our space and time. This little message in this book is the only way to actually, you know, stop him. Said Mimi, I get it, but like, this is supposed to be like a little, you know, vacation and stuff, you know? Like, you, you, you know, like trying to take a break from all that? So look, Mimi, why don't you just sit back, relax, and probably just get a tr some glass of tropical punch out there? Listen, Puggy, that's just gonna waste some time, okay? Like, if we, like, if I, like, don't, like, solve this message in time, most likely, then, like, we'll all be screwed. Right now, at this very second, close to is, is, is probably, like, you know, like, trying to collect the last crystal orb in our piggy multiverse. It's probably our, hey, our Look, Mimi, you're completely stressed out. And that's what vacations, like, are supposed to do the opposite of that stuff, you know? Like, relieving your stress, like, getting rid of the stress out of your body. Now, look, Mimi, you're probably gonna, you, pro you probably need, like, a glass of lemonade and stuff, and, you know? And yeah, once we get back to the safe place and stuff, you know, then you can get back to solving that. You know what? You're, you're probably right, Puggy. Look, I, I'm sorry, okay? It's, it's just that, like, this whole Claus Tugas thing, the whole Crystal Orb thing, it's just making my brain just go wild in my brain. It's like that one SpongeBob scene and stuff where all those little SpongeBobs go crazy. Look, I, I get it, Mimi. I get it. And besides, you know, like, there's, like, since there's, like, a lot of piggy universes and dimensions inside, like, and different t alternative timelines in our piggy multiverse and stuff, there's a good chance that he hasn't even collected, like, you know, 30 percentage of, you know, the crystal orbs. So believe me, Mimi, we have a lot of time, okay? Now look, come up with me. I'll, I'll, I'll get you a glass of lemonade, okay? Uh, okay, Pucky. And as you can see here, we have such a beautiful view of the ocean. In fact, we are in the Atlantic Ocean right now, in which the Titanic sunk 
um, around the North Atlantic Ocean, pretty sure. Blah, 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 random fun facts about the Atlantic Ocean, blah, 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 blah. And also, did you know that only 5% of the ocean has, you know, been discovered by NASA? Uh, Archie, where is he? I'm sorry, what? Oh my god, Z! No, don't you worry, Miss Zebra. It wasn't really that big of a fall, so I'm pretty sure she's fine. She might just hit her head just a little bit, but she'll be fine. It doesn't matter! I gotta go get her! <laughs> well, uh, no one else was here. I mean, besides, the tour was over anyway, so, uh, I'm gonna go, just, yeah. Man, this is some pretty nice whale watching. Don't you agree, Foxy? I mean, yeah, we only like seen like three whales so far. What about wo you, Willow? Are you enjoying it? I mean, I was enjoying the whale watching until you two showed up. Well, you know what? Fine, if you don't want us to go whale watching near you, I guess we'll just go over here then. Whoa, 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 Foxy, what the hell is going on with you? What's going on with me? What's going on with her? Foxy, we all know that Willow is mostly grumpy and stuff. I can hear you two, you know. I mean, yeah, that's no fucking surprise that she's mostly grumpy all the time, but she also bullied me a lot in school, and nowadays, she sometimes even steals my shit. Like my food, my drinks, even like the Polar Express video game on the PS2. And that, believe me, that is pre pretty valuable, you know. Well, maybe you should lock, you should lock your shit up. Or maybe... Maybe stop taking my shit. Maybe go get a job or something and stuff, you know? So that you can buy anything you want and stuff. Like all of the food and stuff, you know, the drinks. Especially the Polar Express video game on the PS2. Foxy, you know I can't do that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, you you can't do that. You know why? Because you've been a criminal for almost a decade. Or you know what? It, pro it was probably even longer and stuff that I can't even count. Oh, yeah, you're basically just homeless with your little brother William and stuff that's as small as a pea. Hey, you... You do not bring my fucking brother into this. You know what? Fine, I won't, but I can't seem to bring your parents into this because I can't even find them. <gasps> okay, that is it, you little shit. Let me out. Stop, stop. Let me out. I swear to God. Let me out. Let me out. Stop doing that. I swear to God. Let me out. 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 Ahoy, mateys, this is your Captain Budgie speaking. Thank you all for hopping aboard this pirate ship. This pirate ship will be heading to the Fireworks Island so that all the passengers can be able to watch all the beautiful fireworks and the colorful ones as well for the celebration of the 4th of July, aka Independence Day. This entire pirate ship and trip was rented out by Pony. So you can basically thank him for this entire event of the 4th of July and all the piggy tokens. Anyway, so it'll take us a few hours to officially get to the island. So it'll most likely take to like 10 30 ish p.m. or probably 12 a.m. Who even knows at this point? Just in the meantime, for now, just sit back, relax, go whale watching, take pictures, and do, do whatever you want. Just make sure you don't walk the plank yourself. Going out. Anyways. Let me out! Let me out! I'm gonna get him! No, I'm gonna get him, talking. I swear to God! Let go of me! I'm gonna I'm gonna get him! I swear to God! I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna shoot his nuts at I swear to God! Foxy! I'm gonna get him! Skibbity do that! Skibbity do this! Skibbity? Like skibbity toilet? Congratulations, Draffy. You were in the fucking son. Uh, hey guys, um, it's getting kind of late. We should probably go to bed. Wait, it's already getting late? Jeez, time really flies, huh? Well, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night, Puggy. Oh, uh, good night, Draffy. Say, uh, Puggy, can I, um, ask you something real quick? Like a, like a little question? Oh, yeah, yeah, what is it, Pony? Well, I'm just kind of wondering, um, did... Did you really need it to invite, like, all the extra people, like, Foxy and stuff, you know, Willow? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure they don't live at the safe place and stuff, you know, like, they're not part of the others' gang and stuff, you know, but they're still, like, part of our, like, you know, friend group and stuff in Lucella. So, I mean, we obviously had to invite them. I mean, uh, I guess. But, I mean, I, I wanted this to, like, you know, be about, like, us specifically and stuff, you know? Like, part, like, the safe place, you know, group and stuff, you know? Like, Puggy and the others, you know? Like, the others is us, Draffy, Mimi and stuff, you know, Georgie, all those people. And it, that kind of ruins it with, like, all the extra people, but, Pony, they're... Th those extra people are also our friends, you know. You know what? It 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 was a stupid, dumb question, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. We we need the extra people and stuff, you know. Yeah. Sometimes it, it would it would get lonely. Well, <clears throat> time to go to bed. But first, I gotta get my midnight snack of that carrot. Why the hell was he asking me about the, like those extra people, like Foxy and Willow? 
Traveler. Probably it's nonsense again. Probably something in those Sour Patch Kids again. What the hell? F Foxy! Oh! Oh my god! No! What? What the hell did I do? Foxy! Raffi, this is like the fifth time you had a nightmare in which at the end you like screw What the fuck? I don't know what happened to him. Traffy. Did you kill Foxy? Puggy. I'm a side character. Oh yeah, you're not wrong there. Wh who, who could have possibly killed Foxy? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I heard some screaming that was not from me for once, and then next thing you know, I literally saw Foxy's just dead body. Oh no, 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 no. That, that means there's imposter among us. Puggy, what the hell are you looking at? Nothing. We gotta alert the cap, the captain, and the other. Did, did you just walk through the door? Oh, Foxy, Drafty, uh, I'm coming, Puggy. Okay, jeez. I didn't know you could walk through these doors. Soon may the Whitman come, the British sugar and tea and rum. One day I forgot to tell there's why do I keep doing this? Captain, Captain, Captain! Arrgh, don't scare me like that, you scallywags! So, sorry, Captain Budgie, it's just that... What, what, one of the passengers has been killed! Hold on a second. What?! Yes, the one of the... Passen... You, you're not driving the pirate ship. Oh, don't worry, it's on auto captain. Seriously, one of the passengers has been killed?! Yes, tell him the dra Draffy. Okay, so I was basically just sleeping peacefully and stuff, you know? And then I heard this, like, what, like, god-awful scream and stuff, you know? And then before I even, like, fully woke up and stuff, I, I thought I heard the door close or something like that? But anyways, as soon as I put my head up and stuff, you know, I saw- I saw Foxy's dead body and stuff with lots of stab wounds and stuff, you know? Like, it- it- it, it just looks so god-awful! And then I screamed so loud that Puggy woke up, and then we both were just, like, you know, arguing about the dead body, and now we're- we're just- like, notifying you. Blasphemy! There's... Blasphemy! There's a murder on the ship! It's not the first time we had some event like this before. Listen, we need to awake all the passengers, fast! Don't you mateys worry. I know how to do that. Just head to the cafeteria, and I'll continue, um, driving this ship. Okay, um, if you say so. Come on, Travi! <laughs> all passengers, wake up! There is a murder on this ship! We don't exactly know who yet, but they were able to kill Foxy Tuckers. Head to the cafeteria immediately, while I'll continue driving this pirate ship. It doesn't look like your classy old pirate ships, but it's still a pirate ship. Head to the cafeteria immediately. God, oh god, oh god. All right, everybody settle down. Come on, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Okay, what is seriously going on? I was having a nice dream about bones and shit, and now I'm now like everyone's panicked. I don't even know what's going on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't don't, don't worry. Huggy will explain it all. Huggy. <sighs> okay, look, Foxy has been found. Yeah, Foxy Tucker's Foxy Tucker's has been found dead inside of that little like you know bunk bed room a area o over there yeah he's been found dead there on the bed just trying to peacefully sleep and then boom lots of stab wounds so that means one of us could possibly be the murderer like it, it ca can't be some shark or anything like that and stuff you know it can't be a dolphin and stuff you know like some animals in in here and stuff don't 
are, are just completely normal animals and stuff. Like, us and stuff, you know, we're, we're, like, we're animals that can actually talk and walk. But, like, some animals are just completely normal animals and stuff. Just, just to make that clear. So, yeah, with that, to let you guys know, it could mean that one of us could have killed Foxy Tuckers. Well, I mean, who could have possibly killed him and stuff, you know? Like, all of us were sleeping. Well, here's the thing, though, and stuff. Right when I was about to, like, almost wake up and stuff, I, I swore, I swore for the love of God, I heard the door closing. So that could possibly mean one of us could have killed Foxy Tuckers, like, while, while we were all sleeping. So they could have possibly gone into the room and then, like, sne sneaked up in front of Foxy Tuckers and then just went to stabbing. And they were able to leave the room before any of us, like, woke up. Yep, so we're not gonna waste any time. Who is it? Huh? Who the hell is it? If I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna, like, you know, sit back, relax, and just watch the drama. Wait a second. Willow. Uh, yeah. That, that's my name. N named after a tree, I'm pretty sure. Remember a few hours ago when you and Foxy were arguing? Uh, yes? So what? Are you saying I'm the murderer? I mean, it's a... Uh, I mean... Uh, Doggy, are you a dumbass? I'm not the murderer. Well, hey, I'm just saying and stuff, you know. Foxy hates your guts. You hate his guts, so that could mean you killed him. I would have killed Foxy if you weren't like you know like pushing me off, like pushing me away from him when I was arguing with him and stuff. Ah, see, she admitted it. Like, no, no, it wasn't me. No, I, I, I mean that. No, look, hey, look. I mean, I was going to beat the living shit out of him and stuff. You know, like one of those hyperboles or something. You know, like similes and stuff. You know. Like, I don't actually mean it. Well, Will, should we mention your criminal records and stuff, you know? Like, your murders and stuff, you know? Like, robberies? Hell, you even have a gun in your pocket. Well, I always have my gun in my pocket for self-defense. Oh, wait. You know what? Yeah, wait. No, Foxy Tuckers was stabbed, so... And you have a gun. So, that means you can't be the murderer, then, because you have a gun. And Foxy was stabbed with a knife, not a gun. That that wouldn't even work. See, I'm not the murderer. I've been trying to tell you that for like the past like three minutes or something like that. You know what? I I can't with this. I I'm I'm just gonna go back to sleep, honestly. Well, Will's not, you know, the imposter. So who could it possibly be? Okay, well let well first first of all first of all let's get a few people out of this picture and stuff. You know, like who were the people? Y yeah. So since Drafi said that like he woke up from like a door, like the door closing and stuff, and obviously Foxy screams from being murdered, then that means that like the people in that room where Foxy was murdered couldn't possibly be the murderer. Yeah, so I was in the room, Giraffe was in the room, Foxy was in the room, and I'm pretty sure Sizzy. Yeah, Sizzy was also in the room, and I guess she was just a heavy sleeper, or because she never even woke up from all the screams. So that means none of us are murderers. And we have some assumptions for, um... I mean, obviously the kids can't do it and stuff, you know, like Georgie, C, and Susie. So yeah, they're out of the picture, and I'm pretty sure William? Yeah, Will's little brother is also on this ship, I'm pretty sure, as well. It's probably somewhere around here. Never even saw him, but... Yeah, the kids, are, the kids are out because, like, how would they even be able to murder people? And obviously people like Traveler wouldn't obviously do it and stuff, you know, because, I mean... He's not really a main character inside of, you know, the... Yeah, he's not really a main character in the story right now. He's only, you know... Kind of used in like you know the extras holiday specials and stuff you know so yeah so with all that in mind it could be either p either like some of the pirate crew like um Sizzy's older brother Sack um I don't know what the other pirate crew's names are but it could be them as well listen anyone who's still a part of this and stuff you know like and pe yeah like anyone who's still a part of this and stuff you know like people who are not part of it or like you know. Um, Sizzy, me, Drafi, and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, anyone, like, anyone who's still part of this and stuff, you know, anyone who wasn't assumed as a murderer could be suspected as the murderer in here. So, yeah, the people who have been opted out, you can just go back to bed, I guess. Or you could basically just make, like, keep an eye out, like, if you hear any random noises and stuff of the murderer and stuff, you know, so, yeah, like, 
just kind of, kind of fake sleep, just in case, I guess. All right. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Like, yeah, Willow's obviously not a murderer, said she has a gun. And, yeah, obviously, um... Yeah, the murderer used a knife on Foxy. So yeah, it could it could either be like people like Doggy, Pony, Mimi, Bunny, Tigery, and probably some of the pirate crew. All right, so those are the remaining suspects. So anyone would like to confess? You know what? Let let's let's talk about where we slept. So yeah, let's start with Doggy Bones. Now Doggy. Where did you- where did you sleep tonight? I mean, since there's not really any, you know, like, bedrooms inside of the ship and stuff, I basically- I was basically just one of the few people that, like, slept upstairs on- on top of the ship and stuff, you know? Where I'm pretty sure that yellow safe is and stuff, you know? Hmm. I see. Well, yeah, one of the thi- one of the things that we know about this murder is that he had a knife. And, obviously, Doggy, you have a bone in your hand, so... That obviously means that you're not the murderer. And yeah, anyone who is confirmed not a murderer, you can just go back to sleep. Or, like, try to find clues and stuff, you know? Okay, I'm just taking my ass back to sleep. I do not want to deal with this. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> um, yeah, I do I do not want to deal with this. Goodbye. All right, you know what? Let, let's do the pirate crew. Let's let's start with Sack, Sizzy's older brother. Now tell, now tell me, Sack. Where did you exactly sleep tonight? Well, uh, here's the thing, though. My usual job on the ship most of the time is to keep an eye out on the dark sea at night. Because sometimes, some crack- some krakens, big sharks, even whales could try to invade the ship and attack it. So my job, usually, is to simply- is to simply keep an eye out for any, like, sea- like, big sea creatures that could probably cause harm and damage to- to the pirate ship. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But wait a minute! What's that behind you? Oh, why, it's my pirate sword. Hmm. I mean, knives and swords are kind of similar. Y both of them, you can be able to stab people! What, you're suspecting me as a murderer? I mean... I guess you can say that, sack. Believe me, it is not me. See, pirates are... Always honest. So if I would have honestly murdered someone on the ship, I would have immediately said so. And besides, sometimes my parrot on my hat talks quite loudly. So if I would have killed someone on this ship and stuff, then the parrot will probably randomly, you know, shout out and stuff, you know? Probably especially the screams of the mur- like the victim. I- I- I, gu I guess you're safe then. You're good to go, I guess. Yep, I am getting my tushy as well back to bed. Or... I still have to keep an eye out for the deep sea at night for those creatures, so I should probably do that as well. Well, this is great. All right, you know what? Here's a new plan. For the next, like, half an hour, probably, all of us will try to find any clues of this murderer on this ship. So, like, Giraffe, you'll come with me downstairs to find any clues. Okie dokie. All right, and, like, Bunny and Tigery, you'll search throughout the top of the ship. And then everyone else who is not- who, like, didn't become suspects will simply just help, I, I- I'm pretty sure. And also, like, you know, Mimi and Pony will, like, search for- search for the, like, the middle- middle floor for clues. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's go! Come on, Giraffe! Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. Dear God, can't believe we have to solve another murder mystery on this ship. You know, if I had a nickel for every time, like, a murder mystery occurred on this ship, I would make a whole dollar. But holy gee, it's a pretty dark, like, at these times. Ah, a knife! A knife! Ah. Is that parity? You, you, you see a knife? Where? Ah, over there! Over there! <gasps> Shiver me timbers. Oh, golly gee, it, 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 it is a knife. But who could it possibly be from? Wait a second. It, it's a fingerprint. Oh my god, I found a clue. Puggy! Puggy! I, 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 I found a clue! Oh, Jesus Christ. Did, did you find anything, Giraffe? No. Damn, we, we didn't find anything on, like, on this floor. Gotta move on to the next one. Puggy! Puggy! What? Huh? You won't believe what I just found. Oh, well, what did you find? I found this. Wait, uh... 
A knife? Yep. While I was trying to search for any, like, deep sea creatures, my parrot yelled out a knife. And then, what do you know? Bam! I found, I found a knife to my left. And it seems that has a fingerprint on it. Wait a second. A, a fingerprint? Wait a second. Me... Mimi can identify, like, fingerprints, I'm pretty sure. And figure out who the person is! Great job, Sack! I gotta go get Mimi. Uh, get, give me the knife real quick. Aye, aye, Puggy, here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Sack. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, uh... How's life? Wait a second, Twig Tigery. I, I, I think the radio is about to tell us a message. Me, 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 me! Jesus, Puggy, calm down, what? You won't believe what Sizzy's older brother, Sack, found. Wait, you found something? Well, spit it out already! Spit it out? More like whip it out! What? Th this knife. Oh! Yeah, I, d I definitely knew that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, Sizzy's older brother, Sack, found this knife, like, to his left while, like, searching for any, like, you know, deep-sea creatures and stuff, you know? And it has a fingerprint. A fingerprint? Are you sure it's not- are you- are you sure it's not Sax or even yours? Yes, I'm pretty sure. He said he found the knife with a fingerprint on it. And yeah, since you can obviously, like, identify, you know, fingerprints and stuff to find out who, like, the person is, you can figure out who this fingerprint belongs to, and that person could possibly be the murderer. Yeah, he probably dropped this knife and stuff while trying to flee the scene. Hmm, you know what? I guess I- I can do that. You know, you know, you know, let me see it real quick. All right, let's see here. What do we have here? Okay, let's see. Gotta use my uh, molecule. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, definitely checking it. I'm definitely checking it. You know what? This is probably gonna take me a while. Is it really gonna take that long? I mean, yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm gonna need like technology and stuff like that to like, identify this fingerprint. But wait, before you go. Here's the thing, so, me, me and Tigery and stuff, yeah, me and Tigery were listening to this radio, and it said the sentence, ends with Y. Ends with Y? Uh-huh. Ends with Y. Might be a hint to who could possibly be the murderer. Huh. Wait. Tigery's name ends with a Y? But, Bunny's name ends with a Y. Sizzy's name ends with a Y. I end in a Y, but Draffy ends in a Y, but even Pony ends in a Y! Wait, and Susie ends with a Y. I mean, obviously, she still can't do that because she's just a kid. Oh, dear lord. Draffy, we need to go to the cafeteria. Now! Uh, uh, okay then. I just need to find a computer somewhere. Everybody's name that ends with a Y! Get to the cafeteria immediately! Uh, is everything okay, Puggy? Well... We just found some two new clues. Oh, two new clues? Yep, two new clues. One was an object, and one was a message from a radio. So the first clue was a knife with a fingerprint that was found by Sizzy's older um, brother, Zack. And the second clue was from Mimi, in which she and Tigery found, like, heard from a radio that spelt, like, that said a message set, that said, ends with why? And that means that the person that killed Foxy has their name ended with a Y. So here we have we have everyone that's name ends with a Y. We have Tigery, you pony, we have Sizzy, we have Bunny, Giraffe, and uh, what what what's your name? Bobby, but Bobby Pickle Rocks and Bobby. So yeah, we have everyone in here that has their name end with a Y, including me, Puggy. So yeah, one of you scallywags could be the murderer. And I'm not the murderer, obviously, because I'm the one who started this entire conversation. And it would be kind of stupid for, like, the murderer to actually, you know, start off a conversation and stuff. You, you get it. So that could mean tigery, bunny, like, pony, bobby, like, you know, you, you know, even doggy, I forgot to mention him. Any of you could be the murderer. So, who would like to confess? So, nobody would like to confess? Alright, then you, Bobby, 
Where were you, like, previously? Well, I was upstairs with Captain Budgie, helping him, you know, drop, like, drive the ship. Alright, sounds like you're telling the truth, and I mean, obviously Tigree's not the murderer because he was literally with Mimi and stuff. Now, it could either be Giraffe, Bunny, Doggy, or Pony. Wait a second. Do I? Do I smell tomatoes? Do I smell ketchup? Wait, you smell tomatoes and ketchup? What are you talking about? Pony did- Is that- Is that a red spot? What, what are you talking- Oh! Oh, this! Oh, yeah! Oh, I was eating a cheeseburger. Yeah, a cheeseburger and stuff, you know? Like, before the entire murder mystery, and I guess I didn't realize that I actually had ketchup on my, um... You know, in my shirt, so, yeah. Huh. Hmm. I mean, I do smell ketchup, and it's not really blood. I don't even think blood has a smell, so... It can't be you, then, then... I guess you're out. Alright, so our last suspects are... Sizzy, Giraffe, Bunny, and Doggy. Now, you know what? Let's go with Sizzy, since you... Yeah, you know what? Let's go to Sizzy next. Okay, before you say anything, Puggy, it is not me. Let me let me show you my evidence on why I'm not exactly the murderer. Because, you know, like, not not even like a few days ago and stuff, you know. Like, I saved, like, everyone inside of the safe place from getting murdered by some hitman or something. And I'm basically one of the protectors and stuff, you know, of the safe place. Basically someone who is not afraid to kick some ass and stuff, you know, to help, like, you know, protect my friends from any danger. And before you say I might have my fencing coil, I left that at home. Huh. You know what, you're actually, you're actually right, Sizzy. I mean, you can't obviously be the murderer and stuff, because, like, you, you will literally, you will literally, like, you know, like, beat the shit out of murderers and stuff, you know, if any of us are in danger, especially, you know, Pony, I guess. Yep, exactly. Puggy! Huh? Hey, Puggy, so, believe it or not, it didn't really take that long for me to identify the, the fingerprint. Oh, really? Nice! Well, who's the murderer? Well, you see, the, the, the here's the problem, though. Um... It did kind of identify the, like, the murderer, but the problem is it didn't exactly, you know, it, it said the face was unidentified. What? What, what? what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm confused as well. Like, like, it, like, it said the face was unide unidentified and stuff, you know? I don't know if someone's just fucking with, you know, the... I don't know if someone's messing with the mach like the computer, like one of the computers I used upstairs in Captain Budgie's room, or it's just completely malfunctioning and the, the, the ocean just has some pretty shitty internet or something, I don't know. But here's the thing though, here's the thing. It said one, it said only one thing that described this person. What, only one thing that described this person? Well, what are you talking about? Well, here's the thing. It said that the murderer has a, has a, like, a hat on. The murderer has a hat on? Yes, it didn't say like what kind of hat it was. It just said it, the murderer has a hat on. So, the radio said that the, like, the murderer's name ends with a Y. So that murderer has a hat on with a Y. I mean, I technically don't have a hat on. I mean, hell, I, I really have headphones. So, that means it could be either you three. I mean, Puggy, like you said, I was literally with Mimi and stuff when the radio said all that. I know what, yeah, I did say that, but wait a minute. Pony, uh, what? You were acting kind of shy and nervous when I was asking you about the ketchup on your shirt. Now tell me, Pony, is that really ketchup? Or did you just use some ketchup spray or something to make that blood smell like ketchup? What, Puggy, no, most of us really didn't even like bring anything and stuff, you know? It's only meant to be like a one night trip and stuff, you know? And once we just see the fireworks, we just go back home and stuff, you know? Like, so we really don't need exactly everything. But here's the thing though, here's the thing. What if you hid something in? What if you secretly had something in your pocket when you got on the ship? Well, uh, if I would have had something in my pocket and stuff, then I, 
then it will most likely like bulge out and stuff, you know? You would most likely see the shape of the goddamn object that I would have in my pocket and stuff, you know? But I mean, here's the thing though. Foxy was murdered, and before even any of that happened, you didn't have that red spot on your shirt. And now that Foxy is murdered, you have that red spot. And I mean, it can't be giraffe -y. He was helping me, like, the whole time and stuff. And besides, like, he was also with Sack and stuff. Like, most of the time he was, like, with at least someone. And besides, he's a side character. So the only suspect now, now, is you, Pony. Puggy, I am telling you, it is not me. I mean, Pony. Think about it. You were acting very nervous, you were acting very nervous and stuff, and kept starting, stuttering a lot recently and stuff, you know, ever since we were trying to figure out about this Klaus Tukas thing and stuff, you know? And now, you have a red spot on your shirt. Now tell me, Pony, did you kill Foxy Tuckers? Uh, 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 I, uh, 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 I don't know, I sure you did, look like a fucking retarded, come on, speak! Uh, uh, come on, Pony, speak. Speak, 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 right fine! I killed Foxy Tuckers. See? I fucking knew it. Why in the living hell would you kill Foxy Tuckers? Explain yourself, Pony. Explain. Listen, I will explain if you will just shut the fuck up for a second. Look, I was possessed, all right? You were possessed. Yes, I, I I was possessed. I swear to God, I was possessed. It was like the infection in, in like those different picky universes and stuff, you know? Like, I, I was seeing what I was doing, but I can't control my actions. And that's what exactly happened and stuff, you know? Like, I... Like, I I woke up, I had this, like, kind of purple vision and stuff, you know, like, this purplish-red vision and stuff, you know, and I started moving, but I, I wasn't exactly moving, like, I was being forced to move, and then I grabbed this knife from some random-ass location and stuff, you know, and, and I, I went downstairs, he, like, here and stuff, yeah, here, I, I went into that room, and I was, I, I was trying to stop- I was trying to stop myself to- from stabbing Foxy. I- I- I, I tried to so bad! And, and- But I had no choice. The, it was controlling me. I don't know who it is, but it, it was controlling me, and... I- I stabbed Foxy multiple times, so he could shut up with his screams. I did it! I didn't want to do it, okay? I- I just didn't! I didn't want to do any of- I didn't want to call all, cause all this. It's 4th of July, goddammit! You know? I wanted this to be like a happy day where we look like fireworks and stuff, you know? And just celebrate, you know, those slaves being free and stuff, I'm pretty sure. You know? Like... Yeah, the Declaration of Independence being signed on this day. But no, I'm causing all this! Because something had to control me this night, you know? I didn't want to do it, but I was forced to. Pony, you are really triggering my trust issues again, you know? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Because look, I was afraid, okay? I, I was afraid that you could- that you guys would abandon me. Like, hell, threw me off the ship, like walk the plank and all that stuff, you know? I thought- I thought I would lose the people that changed my life forever. Listen, I- I'm, I'm sorry, Puggy, I- I didn't want any of this to happen. I... I... I'll never do it again. Pony. Yeah, what you did was completely fucked up. But yeah, I think it's you. You were you were forced to do it since obviously something had to control you. I guess you know. But look, we're gonna need to tell everyone else about this and stuff. You know, because if we, if we basically just say that the murderer was never found and stuff, that, then that's just gonna cause more panic across the ship and stuff. You know. So look, I'm sorry, Pony, but we're just gonna have to tell people and stuff. You know, we, you might go to jail or you might. You know, you might get forgiven if you tell your story, but in general, we just need to tell people. You're, you're right, Puggy. Yeah, come on. We, yeah, come on, everyone. We gotta, we gotta tell everyone else about this and stuff. Like, ho hopefully, Pony can be forgiven because no, no friend will get left behind.
damn, I'm not gonna lie, these fireworks are actually pretty beautiful. Man, if I don't, if only I had popcorn to, you know, like, eat. Like, during all this drama and stuff, because it was pretty fucking funny, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, I'm not I'm so sorry, Pony, that you have to be controlled by some random thing and stuff, you know, to kill Foxy Tuckers. Yeah, it was... It, it, it was pretty emotional and pretty crazy. Oh, look, I'm honestly just glad that everything's back to normal. <laughs> Pony, look at that one! Yeah, that firework actually resembled, like, our colors. You know what? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's so pretty. <laughs> Gay. You know what? I, I'll be right back. I, I, got, I gotta go do something. Wait, Willow, you're gonna miss out the best fire we're in! She's gone already. She's always fucking gone, you know? Like, always playing the fucking scene. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna continue watching the fireworks and just appreciate that we're even still alive. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy 4th of July, traveler. Happy 4th of July. Okay. Claws to kiss. Claws to kiss. Claws to kiss. Is that someone calling my name for once? Oh, it's you. Yep, it's me, Willow Wolf. Now, remember like a few weeks ago, you know? Like you promised me like everything I wanted in life, you know? When I led you to that crystal orb once? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Surprised you remember that. Yep, believe me, I remember everything. So, where is it? <laughs> oh god, you're so hilarious. You are extremely hilarious. Look at the goofy goober over here. <laughs> are you serious? Yep, I am dead serious. You specifically promised me that I would have, like, everything I wanted. Like, my parents back, even my own world and stuff, you know? Like, food, drinks, my own home. You promised me all of that. And where is it? It's nowhere, and all I have is my little brother William, which I honestly can't find him anywhere. Listen, Willow Wolf, I can't really do that right now, you know? I'm kinda busy with collecting other crystal orbs around the piggy multiverse and stuff. Hmm, where is it? Where, where could that possibly be? Where could what be? Oh, nothing, just like, um... I'm just trying to find the amount of fucks I give. <laughs> Are you really Are you trying, trying to mess with me? Hey, what if I am and stuff, you know? Because it looks like you're not really, you know... Like... Trying to give your promise. Once again, you promised everything I wanted. And yet, I still don't have it. So give it here. Well, I will give you it later. No, 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 that's not gonna fucking work. I've already waited for a while, so give it. I'm not giving it to you yet, Willow. I said, right now. Willow? No. Right? Now! Willow, don't make me do it. I'll just keep pushing your buttons and, and stuff, you know? Now, 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 and this. Willow, are you ready to play hide and seek yet? Willow? Willow, where'd you go? Willow! Oh, you know what? I think we're already playing hide and seek. I'm gonna get you, Willow. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, my voice cracked. Gosh diggity darn. I'm gonna get you. 